Drive Galear, the park you ring in the Clay Canish Alley on Skin Skull. We welcome the boys from Dungourney and the Spun Skull for Renyahal for the final of the DH3 competition. We'd like to introduce you to the teams, starting with Bunskull for Ayol. Number one in goals is Marley Walsh. Sorry, can we re-line up starting with... Can we line up starting with... Are we ready? The card here is, sorry about the delay. From Father Road to Forky Ring, the Clay Canish Alliance, Ryan DH3. We would like to introduce you to the team, starting with Punskull Burial. Number one in goals is Marley Walsh. Shane Coffey. Kean O'Connell. Cormac Foley, Sam Coleman, Captain, Captain, Captain Forna, Oshin Trolley, Evan O'Driscoll, Kieran Heher, Killian McCleverty, Daryl Flavin, Jamie Coleman, Oshin Hennessy Finn, Jaden Linehan, Josh O'Connell, Killian Murphy, Ryan Headley, Thomas Sharkey, Daniel Daly, Shay Keneally, Jack Holland, John Scully. Frankie White, Leon Cresswell, Connor McNamara Hughes, Kai Fitzgerald, Anthony Russell, and Mark Baylor. August the Burnley from Dunbarney, Ibrahim Sutro, Ben Marsh. John O'Farrity. Ross Costigan, Adrian Bryan, Patrick Adrian Byron, Patrick O'Brien, 
Liam Casey. Yeah. Liam O'Leary. Yeah. Liam Leahy. Yeah. Brendan Lockman. Yeah. Connor Loney. Yeah. Jack Hayes. Yeah. Jack Carlton. Yeah. Owen Robinson. Yeah. David Anna. Yeah. Christian O'Flynn. Thomas Carney, Ben Kennedy, Sean Barry, Jim Long, Fiat O'Neill, Evan Cunningham, Carl O'Brien, Connor Laverne. Victor Lajacki and Ron O'Donnell. I'm just going to wait for a moment for today's game as part of the pool. We will ask you, please take up your position straight away into the referee. We will have John! Well, the years of this one get far too soggy and can't even find the other person. Ryan D H three, referee out in the centre of the field is Kahala Maraku on Garing Puhil getting him all back, and of course, well-known hurling referee Dingle and Bear of Blood. I don't think he's going to hurling. And he's moving him back. I don't know. Can't tell us who it is. And Carol Lord of Parker are there. He's in nine from Dungourney and Kiran Ayer and Killian McCleverty. Eight and nine are for Dungourney and eight and nine in the opposition are Lee Moriarty and Bill Leahy. All waiting to throw it in, telling the half backs go back and the half forward to go back as well. And now this is in and on, and here we go. Bunskull with Aaron Unsi on Gavishtar. Still are going to ground, but nicely picked up here. And off we go on the run. Horrible first time by Dungourney up into their half forward line. Turned around, side is the man in the Full forward spot driving this one in towards the goal. The goal is coming out. Chased by three from a Jogoni, but does well on the way from the challenge and got it out into the centre of the field. Two going for it. Man from Jogoni with number seven is Liam Casey. The Schlitter is stuck inside that little bit of a rock and mini rock uh, and coming out to receive an every day and hurling now and they're finding it hard to actually get the Schlitter out but eventually back in skirts. And won't come the first time or the second time. Hurl it on the ground, young man, and there'll be no need of picking it. I was shuffling, don't go in there. I don't see him trying to pull some picture, but eventually tied it up there. And well done by the don't go in man who picks it away, away from the, uh, before he loses control. And then pulls first time in it, and again, the minus center, keep pulling. And it comes into the side of the field, out over the sideline, 
and will be a sideline cut for the journey about 30 yards out from the yawl or Bunstall with a goal and this one now being placed very very carefully by the sideline expert and that is number 11 Shinny Connor Rodin Connor having a look the referee telling players to move back Connor cuts it but it's cuts out towards the sideline for Bunstall man back there big wide swing unfortunately he was hooked the man with the white helmet Elder came in and did the job well done there by the goalie nice pass out of danger out of trouble and shot for Bunstall with it the table and the park yeah. up they go it's uh, Darren Flavin fighting for that ball there Flavin losing out the first time Young Gourney pulling direct the ball goes off the all man's legs have to be and Young Gourney cut he's here he's pulling himself her old Galanta Skimmerer 40 feet what a wonderful cut up in terms of full power night is it going to go too far tonight it will not but now the play developing on the end line Near the corner flag, down and comes to Dungourney. Ball is eventually pulled across, but there was an infringement there. Carlo Morocco, the man with the whistler, was seen to blow, saw the infringement there and took the FA in for Dungourney. This one in a very, very difficult angle out on the sideline. There we see the supporters getting in as he the tricolour inside in the middle of it. Wonderful Dungourney jerseys, old style with the sack, not all in the escape. And to take this one now, from Dungourney, it is um, Connor. Connor Ronin gets under this one. Is he going to curl it? I don't think so. No, on to the left and gone wide. So lines are umpires behind the goal there are from Glanmire Community College. They have six days' work ahead of them. The, um, the umpires are the linesmen and the ball boys are from the referee school, from Carrington, wearing the Carrington colours. Uh, blue and gold or blue and yellow whatever you want shuffling and Bunskull with the LNC and counts on Lorna Parker and died and on a whole collision because who's too much picking up maybe but the ball should be driven up on the ground this one is still out on the same rough spot as Dungourney with it and they come away moving across there under pressure hurling it left handed up towards the full forward line I mean a movement here great speed great skill won't come the second time though as that ball went to ground and Dungourney set it up again into the centre well picked up there by the centre forward half locked out defence prevailing however Davis went across the front of the goal uh, was hooked as he tried to come out and that was um, I think Cormac Foley was hooked on that occasion but Dungourney moving towards the goal what a block down inside there fantastically well done great great block by the captain Oshin Crowley and eventually they get it down to the other side of the field Dungourney in control however down here there was a strangle on the legs nothing intentional and the referee blowing the whistle will be a free for Dungourney out comes the goalie uh, coming up to drive this one against the wind I would imagine the wind is, would be more in favour of the team playing from the black off end down towards the city goal and it is uh, cool boy Ron Gordner, Ben Brunner, or Ben Welch to take this one. Ben gets his power behind it, opens his shoulders and gets it out into the wind into the wind. And down it comes as far as Connor Roney. Connor Roney across the first chance, but that one heading off to the left. Harrison counts on the Dullamak. El Stray, El Fori. Counting Gary de Mackinson into the centre by uh, nice quick puck out well done as they move down the field the hurley was too big i think for that occasion for killian mcclarity and the ball down back again in front of the all goal john gordy with the ball most of the possession in the first five and a half minutes and they have this one about 40 yards out from the bump skull goal up and comes nicely controlled the first and the second it'll drop short the goalie comes out puts up the power carefully with wins it and goes off on a run and here he goes oh brilliant move. he's under pressure now and he's still 40 yards out from his own goal i see the corner back and got back in to cover him as um and um, marimont could be cut out field he's making his way back now and he gets help from the defense who eventually clear it out corner back coming out to pick up his own marker now referee however saw an infringement over across in front of the standing stand on the roadside of Parkley Ridge 
and this one will now will be a chance from Dungo, for Dungourney, who've had the most, have had more of the possession in the first uh, six and a half minutes of this game, and now they have a chance to go ahead. This one has struck into the breeze. But I think neither of the umpires nor the referee liked that one as it went off to the right hand side of goalkeeper Marley Wilson's right hand upright. Marley with the puck out. Dungourney defender reading the flight of the ball, going back, tidies up, eventually hooked in. However, and now about 45 yards out from uh, the Dungourney goal, both, I was going to say, the East Cork boys, but they're both from East Cork. Huddled on the ground, good man, out to this side of the field, huddled first time, good man, blocked first time, but oh, what's he do there, but he got it up, nice bit of skill, well blocked, brilliant skill as well, oh, fantastic stuff there by uh, the Dunstallman to get it away from Liam Casey, in terms of goal, Dungourney goalkeeper, stepping out, does well, out to the centre, this match, fierce and tense so far in the opening seven and a half minutes, huddled in on the ground again, Dungourney defender, Gets first nibs at that one, but the ball comes down and still it's uh, the Munskull battling away in towards the goal. Full ball, doesn't get it too far across, might get a second chance. Clear now, inches out to the side of the field and the defence holding sway there and getting away with it. Dungourney on the attack, advantage being taken by the referee as that one is rolled up to the field. Great play, and here comes Conor Ronin. Conor Ronin drives a long one into the danger area, well batted out by the defence. Great pace for this game. And eventually, Bunskull get it out. And then a loose one here, a chance. Paul Dungourney looking good as it left a hardly. But I think Conor Ronin threw his head to heaven, as did the spectators, as that one came up eventually to the right. More possession for Dungourney, not many scores so far. Bunskull going back again. Their number seven is Evan O'Driscoll. Evan O'Driscoll holding this one out for the Munskull. Out into the centre of the field again. Fierce excitement all around me on both sides. Good crowd over on the common stand as well. Don't go in there. Aaron Onsi on far Lord Parker. Is that Liam O'Reardon? Putting in towards the goal. Half a chance inside here. Well picked up by the forward. Turning it out. Swinging a hardly at it. Having the first score. They have a deal. Good score. I think that might have been Brendan Lachnan. Good play. And over the bar, the puck out by Marley. Marley gets it to halfway. Down it comes a flea. There was no doubt about that one, I think, as Jamie Coleman was fouled. And now a chance for the Bunskull to equalise. And counts on Gina Cockings and Nina Kegamater, uh, no doubt a good meter. And it's even a hook. Get on her with this one. As Mihal O'Hare would say, there's a tail on it. It didn't tail enough, though. And out it came uh, from defence. Up they go again. Man goes up with hand. Man comes down with no ball. Ball eventually, Connier and Dungourney coming away. Well done. Good hurling into space. Well covered inside, even though there was no need on that occasion. The cornerback had come around in the full circle. Oh, brilliant block. And the first time and the second time. Good skill. Good hands. Well done. Uh, Bunskull trying to get that one out. A shot in the end, a needless shot in the end, and it will be a free out for the Bunskull. Shot going on cool border. Pam Marley Blanc, coming counts out of Ola. He's well inside in his own half of the field. Has a good puck out, has a good dead ball run. Well, we'll see very sharply. Marley settling himself up, tries this one. High dropping. He's dropped in in front of the goal, but unfortunately, that one going slightly to the left and wide. But what a pop, what a drive it was by Marley Walsh. He'll be a danger yet in this match with him long strikes. Ball dropping in the centre, and Dungourney coming onto it. Their big number 14 gets it into the corner, seven for the Munskull, trying to flick it back on that occasion was Evan O'Driscoll. Ball into the halfway. On Dungourney in pressure, another blocked out. Great work, obviously. Being done on the basic skills in Yall, on the blocking and the hooking. But more direct from Bun Dun Bun from Bun Dungourney coming down the middle. And this one is cut up for them. And a chance of the point. There's second. It's high. Is it tailing? It is tailing. And it goes wide. Dungourney supporters not happy to see the wides racking up for them. 
halfway through, slightly with it, halfway through the first half, as Marley Welch would drive this one long, pass interfeed, dropping on the half hour line. Schlitter goes past two, doesn't go past the third man there from Dungourney. I think that is Liam Casey, who's battling for it over there on the far side, slowing down the progress of the Munskull, trying to get up near the sideline, over on the far side of the field. In it comes. Dungourney prevail. Into the centre they go. Huddled it off the right. Up they go. This one dropping down again. Well picked up in the first attempt. The referee seeing that the hurling came across there. And it will be a free for the Munskull. And out comes Marley. Referee having a word with him from where to take it. This one about the same distance as the last one. Maybe a step or two more central. He drives it low. This is spot the loose man. He does. I know, oh, nice bit of his shimmy and a, just moving forward here. Arnold Munskull, chance of a point. It, it turns the goal over the bar. Good score. Good goal, KD. And good spot by Marley Walsh. The spot. <coughs> spot his man loose. I think it was number nine. I think it was uh, Killian McCleverty. And uh, Killian. Had plenty to do, but did it well. Over the bar, level, and a point to peace. Twelve and a half gone in the first half. Ryan DHC, the Kalini Dungorna, Sakrahek Mogek, the Rimitra. It wasn't there, look, this one hit into the space. Marley gets it, and Marley drives it long to the other side of the field. Well caught in the air, won't come the first time, nor the second. He didn't get the third opportunity, however, and Dungorna coming away. Racing on with this one, and then flicking a hurley as he struck it, and that ball eventually goes wide. The hoop was important on that occasion. The little bit of a nick was enough to put Conor Roney in off on that occasion. Marley going long with this one, gets it over the centre back position, but not over the centre back's head. And the man with the red boots drives it down. A chance here for Dungourney, Conor Roney going in. It's a shot. What a brilliant! Brilliant save by Marley Walsh. Out it comes. But Carl Murphy had blown the whistle previously for the free in. He was letting advantage of Crew. The score didn't come. We come back for the free. But it was a rasper. And it was brilliantly saved by Marley Walsh between the posts for Bunce Goldberger. He can't stop points. He can't. Over the bar. Dungoli sneak back into the lead again. Two points to one. 14 minutes nearly gone, and it's a cracker. This one going past centre field. Out it comes, batted down, missed, however. Covering centre half back is back there. Farnham Gurney, and well cleared out to this side of the field. Up goes the paw, man goes to ground. Dun Gurney get that forward and driving it into space. One man winning it inside, controlling it on the hurley. Coming inside, gets back to him, still moving it. The Lily Hook, oh, well stopped again by the goalkeeper and put out this time at the expense of a 65 and the referee blown the whistle is there a 20 meter free the Lissigum Tata Tarlood and it's in a 65 the ball's being hooked out anyway to go to the centre uh, they run in the four lay shot for William the Snehemiliori and this one now will be taken I have no doubt by Conor Roney. The referee showing him where to take it. Definitely scorable. Definitely scorable. One point between the sides. Trying to get it down to three. And up to three. It. Does he like it? He does indeed. So that's it. Three goals. With four and a half to go to half time. Another long puck out down to the half hour line by Bunskull with a well cut there by their 13. That's uh, Jaden Linnan. Jim uh, bundled off and eventually Schlitter coming down again, trying to pick it all the time. Jaden can't get it out that end. The smaller man from Dungourney does well to get that one away. And off he goes to this side of the feet. Once again, the block down is made out over the sideline. But the referee says that number nine from Dungourney. Billy he and carry that one out first. And this one's caught by the centre half back, Oshin. Oshin Crowley. Dungourney prevailing in the half back line. 
and repelling each attack by Bumstall. Down it comes inside the feet, moving their way. 12 from Dungourney. Jack. Jack is trying to get it on another little lead. But it's back there for Bumstall as Evan O'Driscoll. Evan O'Driscoll. Um, unorthodox out to the side of the field. And a chance. Oh, yes. Is that a point? That. Oh. Just outside. Umpires agree. Referee at a bird's eye view. Also, three and a half to go to half five. And it's uh, still Dungourney who are leading three points to one. Down to the side of the field. Racing over there. Stitter on the ground. Dungourney man going back. Getting away with it. Driving it long. Off the, off the left hand. Towards the sideline. Over the sideline, I think. Yes, indeed. The flag is up. See the blue and gold jersey on the far side. From. Uh, that's in there on the left of the screen. From. Uh, Cutting pool. Signaling that this will be a line ball for Olsheen and for Bumstall winner. And Chilevary Shikha, Lorna Parker, driving it on. Olsheen hits this one long into the full forward line. Well cut inside. Here they come. Oh, nice touch across, but well read by the defender. Drops it down. Van for Bunskull gets it up. Tried to cut his way through. That was Jamie Coleman. Off to the ground was Jamie. And it will be a free in and a chance to narrow the gap down to the bare minimum for the Bunskull as we approach half time. About two and a half to go. <coughs> Conference going on there between the two Bunskull men. It's number eight. Get on air and puts it over. Knock <coughs> out now by the Dungul Nigoli, Ben Walsh. Ben Walsh, a fine long stroke as well into the centre of the field. Ball breaking. John Gourney seems to be there in numbers. Crowding around this one, driving it forward. Back close and Yallman under pressure. 20 yards out from his own goal. Two there from John Gourney, only the ball, first time. And that one goes in outside the post and goes wide. Here comes Marley, ready to get the show on the road again. Looking for people to make the move. And it lifts the hurley, drives the long ball, has the half hour line. Oh, great catch in the air there. That's one by Jaden. And here comes Jaden, cutting across. Gets the ball inside. It turns the goal. Out comes the goalie. Here comes the forward. Chance, surely. No. Oh, first chance. Didn't come out. And out she comes. And danger reversed living dangerously and Dungourney. Here they have the ball again now, in the centre of the field. Great tussle going on. Dungourney went half blocked out. The ball skies up in the air. Well won by the Bunstrel, by number eight. That's Kieran Hare. Kieran Hare into the corner. Oh, lovely touch inside there by Dara Flavin. Dara Flavin gets it across, it's under the goal! And it's stopped by the goalkeeper. That should have been it, that should have been it. Wasn't the greatest shot of all time. And Dungourney, happy, let me tell you, very happy to get it halfway out. Back it comes again from the Bumskull. That one training out and wide. Oh, oh, oh. Two wonderful, glorious chances of goals by the Bumskull as we approach half time. Four here, though, none of them counted. And that will mean that as we approach half time, there's one point still between them. The Bumskull coming to the side of the field. Spitter beating them. As the man comes out with that ball, will be a free out for Bunskull with a referee, Carl Murphy, telling them where to place it. And I no doubt that Marley will be taking this one, and Marley will be driving it to the far side of the field. Two points for Bunskull with a yard. Three points for Skull, Dave Peter, and John Gourney. That, my friend, is the last action of the first half. But what condensed excitement we had in the last minute or two before the halftime whistle from Cahal Murphy. Two great chances of goals for the Munster that would give them a halftime lead, a lead maybe that they scarcely deserved because Dungourney had the better of the general play, even though their chances went to begging to in the first half. Still, all the paper at halftime. St. Peter's Dungourney, three points. Munster with all two.
Tommy Drake, everything in readiness for the second half. Referee Carl Murphy checking around him. Looking to the left, up towards the Black Rock head. Thumbs up for the video here. Something bothering him still though, he's still looking over that way. Yeah, checking the watch. And here we go, Tom Tandu Lafayette on toll. First to break is Bud Skull with it. On the attack, a bit of a squire. And this one comes down. Dungoni moving it out to this side of the field. Y'all under pressure. And they're trying to get to bottom. Hub it comes, Ward from Woods, will come second. And down it goes again. Dungoni winning the rock. And Dungoni pulling it on the ground and eventually makes a bit of room. To get this ball down out turns, wing forward, wing forward does well. Turning around, hitting this one. Oh, what a ball if it goes over. And it does indeed. What a score. Beautiful score by number 12. That was uh, Jack Hayes, I think. Farmed and Gourley came out, made room for himself, come and put it over the bar. Here come Bud Spellwetter on the attack, the other side of the feet. You can see Marley's puck outs there, landing inside the full back line, if you like, on the other side of the feet. Over there, battling over near the sideline. John Gourley had the ball in hand. It's their midfielder. That's Bill, Bill Lee. Bill Lee getting it out. Great run on the far side, cutting in towards the goal. Ball glued to the stick, turns it up into the hand, makes room inside, blocked down eventually as it comes. And it Bunce Colmen getting it out to this side of the field. Out very close. And Bunce Colmen falls to the ground there. As comes the midfielder this time. It was Nemo Reardon. Nemo Reardon in towards the goal. Kept out over the inline and will be a puck out for Marley. Marley being told to go back a little bit, I think. Carl Murphy getting him into position, striking it from the edge of the D, landing on the 45 meter line on the other side of the field. Out comes the goalie. Good goalkeeping, solid goalkeeping. Great strike out to the center of the field and getting his midfielder away with the minimum of fuss. Here they come. It's number eight striking this one, and it's uh, Bill Leahy, but Bill's accuracy letting him down on that occasion. And that one going wide again. Well done, Gourney. If by any chance the Bunskull get a goal or take the lead or win this match, John Gourney will be able to look back at a lot of chances in the way that went a begging in the first half. Two points between the sides. Four points to two. This one is once again being driven out by the Dungourney boys. A quick hand pass and a strike on the ground into the center. Comes out now as far as um, Connor. Connor run in. Over the far side of the field. Action comes down to Nemo Reardon. Nemo Reardon in around the house. Three against two inside there. Dungourney moving towards the goal. But that ball very close. Bit of hesitancy inside there as the Munskull try and usher it out. Dungourney trying to usher it in. Man coming across. Will she count her? Will she tuck the mark? Before the mark, and it is indeed. And Horan left handed up along the sideline on the far side of the field. Well, um, dodged on there by the man from the Bunskull. The referee blows his whistle, but well, he didn't blow his whistle. The play kind of stopped in anticipation of the referee blowing his whistle. And now he's, is he going over to the sideline? Uh, is he going over to the linesman on the far side of the field? Or uh, is he having a little chat maybe? with uh, one of the Bunskull winner players, maybe who was complaining about not getting the free. But anyway, let's come up. If we weren't complaining, we'd be in trouble. Goalkeeper to puck it out. And this is Marley. Marley gets it high, gets it long, and gets it well into the done goal we have. Bat it down, down it comes. Oh, lovely hurling. Flicking it on and coming on the run. Half hooked up, this side the field. The Gourney man takes the body and a crash down. Referee saw the post. And maybe, maybe he let the first chop go from Liam Casey, but not the post that came after it. That will be a chance now for on her to take this one. Outside the 65 metre line, Biddles the hurley. 
before he drops this one in towards the goal. Will they keep it in play? They will not. And there's uh, Kieran. Throws his head to heaven. No, that the vital one gone the wrong side of the post. Now we have the goalie, Ben Walsh, pocket out to the centre. Two, three, Bunskull men there, eventually winning and coming out. And that's number 12, that's Oshin Hennessy. Oshin Hennessy getting the ball up, up into the danger area, goes past back, goes back forwards, doesn't go past the last backer, who gets it out to the side of the field. They're going to be motoring well here now, but that lovely little won't come up. It does on the third attempt. And now he'll turn and try and go around to his man. A good run here. Overplay that ball, however, as down it comes. Uh, down it comes and very near the sideline. Uh, trying to get it up. Won't come. It's tough going out there. It's number eight for the Munskull. Get on air. Get on air. Goes on a run. Don't go the man. Pulling out there. Down it comes. Get on. Has reinforcements. Got it as far as Oshin Hennessy enters the goal into the safe hands of Ben Walsh, who drives it back out to the middle of the field again. Hot sniffer again there. Damn, Budskull win this one. Budskull playing it up along the wing. Great ball into the corner forward position. Out comes the cornerback, winning this one. Brought down, however, referee Murphy from Carrick Tool uh, sees the infringement of that occasion as uh, the centre half back Patrick O'Brien is uh, touching his leg gingerly on this occasion. Tahala Morocco, a dulcier figure, Tiakovice Karkador. One, two, I think he's okay. Referee checks it out with Patrick. Then everything is hunky nori and we should be ready to go. Rolling Ben coming out to take this one. Rolling and practicing. Rolling and practicing. Steadying himself. He's inside the 45 meter line. He hits this one high. It's going to land in the half forward line. Battered out first by Bunskull. Only as far as the midfielder. Only as far as Lee Murrayden. Who returns it, breaks it down. Ready for it down there was Evan O'Driscoll. But it's back again as far as Connor Ronin. Ronin going through. Ronin chopped as he was making his way towards goal. Referee Cahal Murphy right up in the play. Saw the free. Awards the free in. And I have no doubt that it will be Connor himself who will take this one. It's my little luck. Thank you for doing good. Yes, Connor. Placing this one 20 yards out from the goal, from the Munster goal. Two points between the sides. This to make it three. This to make it three, which he does. So there's a goal. A full goal between the sides now, with seven minutes of play gone in the second half. It's a Munster with a nod at all. Don't go in there, a nod at all. But Munster gained this moment of the goal. He's got a chance here. First man for this. The goal to be gained. The first occasion. Brilliant goalkeeping bend, great goalkeeping bend, and that ball inched down towards the side, and away comes Den Gourney. There was a bit of a chop there, but definitely let it go. But now it comes towards uh, the Munz going in, in towards the danger area. One, two inside, more direct by Den Gourney. What else? Getting it out there, out to this side of the field. Well tidied up, and good hurling, and that was a lucky escape. Oh, great catch, brilliant catch by him. And Jack is in towards the goal. Not a brilliant catch inside. And Marley returns it with interest. Over back, over forwards, over everybody. Man inside the edge of the square. One pocket they had got it in. They didn't, however. And Don Gourney stand and raise the seed. Down it comes to the middle of the feet. What a game we have. Killian McCleverty battling away over the far side of the feet. Two against two. Who's going to go down in this one? Who's going to get that ball away? It's Don Gourney hurling it along the ground. Back go Bunskull. What a game. Bunskull winning this one. Oh, nice bit of turning still there and driving a ball long in towards the forward line. Touchdown there. Was there a late tackle to the referee? Say no. Play on. And down it comes. Dunn Gourney man going back, hurling it out. Into in stuff. Not a, a, a quarter being given. No quarter uh, being asked either. Here comes the Bunskull. Bang. And that was a fair, hefty tunnel as the Bunskull man made his way up the field, down he went, when he met uh, the man from Dungourney to bring him down. The man from Dungourney says no, and he'll be a free and for the Bunskull. Chance to bring it down to two again. Y'all, 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 I hear to my right. And this one is going low, the pressure's off and comes to the goal. 
as the scrum develops inside. He should have taken his fight. Maybe he can get a second attempt at it inside this. And it's not to go! Back in the net! Back in the net! Back in the net! What a goal! I think it was. I think it was Kid on Hair who took it. Fight is a big downfall about him going for the goal from the free. But by God, when it came back out there, he knew what he was doing. And Ben Welch didn't see it until it came back from the back of the net. Or the front of the net, maybe. But here comes John Gordy down to the other side of the feet, cutting through. Referee said, you went to ground too easy, man. You're not getting any free. Still back and comes Doug Gourley, moving into the centre, a chance in towards the goal. Bunskull rising up, and Bunskull drives it out. Here they come, to the other side of the field. Doug Gourley, man, misjudges that one, kicks it out, and he gets a bit of help, since he's been forward again. This is into it, sir. What a love, what a laugh at. And Doug Gourley with a chance, this is going towards the goal. It is going in a general direction, but it's going outside. I think that was from Owen Robinson. Level pegging, 10 minutes to go. Will my hat stick this? Down it comes. Bunstall Mansion with it. Does go. Gets it up. Blow that however. By the way, from John Gurney. And out they come. And out to this side of the field. Was tricky in the pass. Driving it up along the field. This could work out okay. In towards um, um, Connor. Connor with the ball. Connor striking it. In towards the goal. And we have John Gurney back ahead again. Marvellous score by John Gurney. This is going to go to the wire, my friend. One goal and two points. Bunskull winner. Not six. One point behind. And one point ahead, Andrew Gordy. Out to the far side of the field. Trying to get in the way. Hurling it in towards the full forward. Trying to get his way inside. But good, tiny play by John Gordy to get that ball out towards the sideline. Out over the sideline. On the far side of the field. August 2 session, Chanston Munz, while Donald Nunziri. 11 minutes and 16 seconds on the top. Cut into the centre. John Gordy man on his own on this occasion. However, not for long. Oh, body in over it. It was a block or a check or whatever he got. Didn't get any clearance out of it anyway. And then the ball goes to ground out of the half back line. The referee signalling a free in. For the Bunskull, this one is within scoring distance. They look back to field. I see Marley slowly walking forward, but I think he needs this one um, to Kiran. Kiran want to go. To, oh, not here. Do I see? Here comes Marley. Kiran is getting ready, but Marley is now up. It's about it's about 40 meters from the goal into the small goals on the Black Rock end of. And uh, Parker in, Marley strikes and Marley sends it high and the white flag goes up. One goal and three for the Munster. Six points from the journey. It's a strong game of Ireland. We're level, we're level with 12 and a half minutes gone. And Munster with it again. Agassi don't compete. Their man is Kirad. Kirad loses that one, however. Ball goes to ground. He's battling. Munster have it. Won't come the first time, won't come the second. Touchdown. Don't go anywhere with it and come out. And this ball struck down the centre. There's an extra yard man there. This judges it, however. Here comes uh, Don't go anywhere. Well, the Hurley went in at the last minute. Desperation stage and getting it out to the side of the field. Now, there's a small bit of room here for the Munster. Won't come the first time. Does the second time. And it's there midfielder. Get on air. Get on turning it out. Still with Nolan. Brilliantly hooked up in. Brilliantly. Oh, fantastic work by Conor Ronin. And Conor Ronin took it off to him and then drives along with it towards the goal. But this one inches agonizingly outside the goalkeeper's left hand post. And that goes wide. Stalemate. One three to six points. And six and a half minutes in play left. What a game. It's a bunch of making ground towards the goal. Oh, black down again. Across in front of it. Forward's there. Back's there. Now it comes. Blown off the ball. Oh, my heart is in my mouth. And out comes John Gordy. Coming away with this one. Over the far side of the field. Well caught there by the midfielder. Hurling it on the ground. Blocked the first time. Turns in. When he's striking off his left, he won't get a chance. Back in skirts. And John Gordy coming away again. And that's Liam Casey. Liam Casey up the sideline. And blocked down, however, by the Munskull at the first attempt. Now it's eventually a hand goes in and tongue of the hand until the three for 
the Munster one three for six points. What a game of hurling! And I see in Fahey, one of the stewards over there, asking one of the teachers um, to stay back to the line. And it must be hard to stay back in all fairness because this is some game of hurling. And it comes and pulled down in the air, didn't look out the first time for the Gordy. Back it comes. Bunskwell with the ball, trying to get out, trying to make it in the room. Hollins him in, the goalkeeper comes out, off his leg the first time, and tears in the second time. Lucky there, maybe, Ken Walsh, but eventually gets it out. Here comes the Bunskwell again, coming in waves. See, what else would you get down in the all? By the sea, only waves. Then this one, cutting inside, get out, get out here. You see, Brant the ground, he's not. Referee says, play on, get out, turns, starts again, and strikes this one high, high, high and wide. Five minutes left in the top. Five minutes left to bite the nails down another bit. What a game of hurling. One three to all. Six points from Dungourney. And the puck out from Ben Walsh. Ben Walsh out past halfway. Out to the half forward leg. Getting down there nicely. And the man from Dungourney. Let's fly with a rocket. And it's over. Oh, I thought for one second. It had crawled into the net. Over. Barley Walsh's hurry. But that's some scores, I believe. Long range shooting. Pumped out from Marley. On the side of the field. One, two. Breaking down here. Don't really have it. At the first time of asking. Back and forth. Splits back and eventually clear to this side of the field. Up they go. Brilliant. Pull in the air by the way. The Bunskull. Down again. Racing into the centre. Good play. Good play by Bunskull. With a, giving it away in size, maybe. But showing tremendous resilience. At that occasion, however, uh, the... Referee deemed that the defender was being fouled. There's a woman who's worried, biting her nails. She, if I can tell her that there are four minutes to go. They're leaving by a point. And referee Carl Murphy asking people to move back to the line on both sides of the field. Ben Walsh comes out. Ben Walsh will banish this down to the other side of the park. Ben Walsh getting ready to take it. Gets it into the centre of the field. Nicely won there by Dungourney. Driving in towards the goal. Up they go. They took a deflection. The referee says wide. I think he was right. As the goalkeeper, Marley was. Was happy. They let that one. For all outside the pole. Love up to the middle. And Chantry. Dunskill. And we love it. It's very close. It is. And over the bar. What a score. It was, that one was by uh, Jamie Coleman. So... With three minutes of play to go, are we looking at extra time? One four for y'all. Bunskull with it. Seven points for Dungourney. This is a chance for Dungourney. And it's um, Connor. Connor going in a run, striking it high in, in towards the goal. The umpire waving it wide before she touched down at all. And here comes Marley. Quick puck out the last time. Led to point. And Adam Belter up the length of the team. Is there a chance here for the Bunskull moving forward? Battling on the ground, out going in there, and the defence hands the ball down the front, and chance now for Tuffin and Jelly Mishra, and all four, and he hits it in the back of the net. What a goal! What a goal by Jamie Lederham! Jamie Lederham won the ball when it stretched it up in the air, got past one of them, made for the goal, saw the whites in the eyes of Ben Walsh before he batted it into the back of the net. And now, it's now or never for Dungolney. The famed green and gold, Ellen Unsi. About 35 yards out from the all goal. Slater on the ground. Yami trying to hold out about two minutes. Less than two minutes, in fact, to go on this one. Oh, fantastic block down there by Evan O'Driscoll. Eventually forces the turnover. Ball stuck down. A dangerous spot to be about 20 yards out from the Munster goal. Less than two minutes to go. 2 4 to 7. 10 to 7. That's not the time. That's the score. Bunch going with F and Keen. Don't go in there at an own sea. The ball over on the far side. Anton B coming out. And then over across comes Marley. Marley Munch. The long striking, long hitting goalkeeper. Oh, Bunch going with it. They should count so Hogan. Going to be under the go back on the cool head. Count more three father. Up they go in front of the Dunn Gordy goal. Touched in towards Midwalk. Big controls and in comes the forward. Couldn't make that one in tight. We've got a minute and ten to go. And Dungourney with the ball. Is there a score? Is there a goal in Dungourney? The Hallado, Hallado, down the field. Still going through. Schlitter on the ground, however. And it's a 
the, the, the Munskull who are crowding around them, the Munskull who win the break, and the Munskull driving it out. Will them chances that will go only miss early in this game? Will they come back to haunt them? Hold on the ground. The man loose there is the centre back. Is that number six? Or she? I know it's uh, uh, Patrick O'Brien driving it out in front of the goal. Out comes Marley. Marley gets his early to it, and Marley gets it out. And this is Chance Hunter Gourney again. We'll have to turn and go inside. And going high. Oh, Marley stops it. What a rocket. What a save. Oh, some exhibition of goalkeeping by this man. Marley Walsh for months for winner. By making about 20 seconds left. And Shock going to Gourna. Never say die. Never give up. Ball on the ground. Referee says play on. Out it comes. A chance. And it's high. And it's over the bar. A two point game. Two goals and four points for Bunskull with a eight points uh, from Dungourney make it, makes it ten to eight at this stage. Uh, this one fucked out. Up they go. Touchdown again. Uh, we're into added time at this stage. Bunskull being happy enough to keep playing the ball up on this side of the field. Cahal Murphy watching the play develop. Out it comes from this side. Dungourney man battling. Bunskull man battling. All allowed. Blocked by. Blocked by. Uh, by a monster, and it came down to Jane Leonard. And Jane Leonard got the last puck of this game. It didn't matter where it went because Colombo, uh, Monaco, the referee, blew the final whistle. Half break, desolation, 3 for 3 for John Gourney. They led for most of this game. Jane's goal, Jane Leonard's goal um, near the end, as well as um, Piran Hare's goal earlier. They were the difference between the sides. It's 2 5 gone up on the scoreboard. I think it was 2 4. The last one didn't matter. The whistle was lower. But either way, it's 10. It's the, a victory for Budskull, uh, Willia Yall, Began Cotton, uh, Ryan DH3, Adulser, Gotorn for Florida. The Budskull will be the, having the bonfires tonight. Um, Dungourney half broken in the centre of the field. They nearly did it. They nearly had enough done. But Jane belted it into the net with time nearly up for two or three minutes. I look over to my left here and I see absolute desolation on the faces of the Dungourney fans. Their players in the middle of the field. I see them out there with John Boylan. They're half broken too. But when it came down to it, they not need it. The Bunskull boys took their chances. Uh, Dungourney maybe left themselves too much to do with them wides. Come, Ryan DHT, put a bunch gun with a yard.
We welcome both teams to the podium and we are very honoured today to have the Ultheron Bon Bon Tori in the hair. I'm sorry, Jim. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Accord. We want to welcome the president of the INTO to do the presentations. August current fear fighter is Sean O'Dushkoil. Uthran, Montori Nehern, coming Montori Nehern. So let me arrive. 